All right, let's go back to the uh, Constitutional Court, of course, where we heard that, uh, which is the breaking news story at this hour, the Concord has indeed decided that uh, Chris Hani's killer, Janusz Falus, should be released on parole within the next uh, 10 days. We're going to get uh, some uh, reaction uh, from the party that Chris Hani was, of course, a leader of. All those matters have not been considered. And we have, we have put these matters all the time in the court process. And because uh, Janusz Walus was not uh, uh, inseparable from uh, uh, Clive W. Lewis, who actually, uh, uh, after he was released by medical parole, put a video that is now in public, and I think you media must play it. He said he will do it again. The court doesn't consider that, because they now make, it, make, make this a separate issue. When the, the judge himself, Justice Zondo, indicated that the relationship of these matters were Im, 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 immutable. But when it comes to the judgment and the actions of these two individuals, they are mutable. What is the way forward now from this? I, I, I want to get a reaction from the well, chairperson and colleague. I don't think that we should uh, move towards uh, 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 that aspect, the issue that where the Apex Court has made the ruling. Yeah. So let's do one single I didn't get that, uh, uh, yes, you are saying. I'm saying uh, let, let's accept uh, uh, the outcome of the Apex Court with the injustice that it has meted to us. And I think that, um, like uh, Sis Dimpo was indicating, uh, we have to accept that uh, justice, as is meted out in South Africa today, is not justice of the people. And I think we need to, to reach a stage where the people can enjoy their true freedom, the sacrifices of people like Comrade Hani and others, that the people can on a daily basis leave those sacrifices, not to be confronted with injustices after another using the platform of justice. That's why we have said an injustice uh, has occurred today through justice. Well, good afternoon to you, Flo, and the viewers at home. Unfortunately, we did uh, lose uh, Chris Honey's widow, uh, Ms. Tempo Honey, as she left, um, obviously very upset with the decision by the Concord to uh, set aside uh, the decision to not place uh, Mr. Yanush uh, Wallace on parole. That uh, decision has been set aside, and within 10 days, we're expecting his release. I'm joined by the SACP, Salim Apail, as well as the Premier of Gauteng, Mr. Panya Zalusufu, who's here supporting uh, the Communist Party. Of course, this came as a shock to to you, um, but of course the court has said that they have to uphold those constitutional values and he has met those requirements. You seem to be in disagreement with that. What is the SACP's view of the Concord's decision? Firstly, let's um, express our continued solidarity with the Hani family and, and thank the support of all South Africans uh, throughout these many years when we've been fighting against this murderer for the support they've given to the family and to the Communist Party. Um, and to express our disappointment today in this court, uh, the apex court in our land, which obviously after its outcomes um, uh, legally, there's nothing that you can do except mass mobilization okay. so that we reconstitute our legal framework to represent the interest of the people, not to protect murderers and criminals whose only mandate is to cause, to cause chaos in society. As you know, I mean, this, this judgment um, did not consider our submission uh, as the Communist Party, nor the submission of the Hani family. Uh, and in many instances, um, uh, there have been uh, errors in interpretation. Of course, uh, I'm not a judge, but they are the judges. They make the final decision. Uh, Justice Zondo talks about the immutability of this process with many other factors. And it doesn't talk to the immutability of the core planners, Clive W. Lewis, who planned the murder of Krisani with the same murderer, Janus Walus, who, when he died, issued a video indicating that uh, after he was uh, released by the courts through the medical parole system, which we had opposed uh, on several occasions, before he died, he produced a video to indicate that he will commit the error or the murder again. Um, basically, uh, communists have been subjected to a full-blown attack by the courts of the land that must, must uphold our freedom of existence. Uh, because this uh, clear murderer had never apologized uh, to the uh, Hani family. It's incorrect, this apology that they are talking about. And when a, a high court, a court at this level, makes such an erroneous interpretation, uh, just because they wrote a letter that we did not receive, um, uh, it, it's just, uh, it boggles the mind and I think it's disappointing, uh, this judgment. So we will have to go to the drawing board to, uh, to see how to remobilize society uh, on a matter of uh, justice for the people 
not justice for criminals. Uh, because we believe that today, uh, indeed, um, in the court of justice, an injustice has occurred, a very heavy injustice against our people, the real midwife of our democracy, who represented majority of many of our people who died in the battle for the freedom that we enjoy today, have been betrayed. Do you feel failed by the Minister of Justice, rather, for failing to present new facts um, regarding why he should not be released on parole? No. The Minister of Justice has done his best uh, to take this matter to this level, and we should be proud ourselves as well to, to take this matter up to this level. But we are, we are, we are happy with his efforts uh, and uh, the reasons that he has given. We, think, we still believe that those reasons are valid. They were misinterpreted uh, in many instances as we were listening. And of course, uh, they followed a particular uh, 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 purview or, um, of expectations uh, by, the co by the justices. Unfortunately, um, we're not given an appropriate jurisprudence, which I think is getting disappointing uh, uh, continuously if it goes that way, that uh, we could not even hear a different opinion on, in this regard from a matter of law. So this was a, a very disappointing judgment for us. What more could the applicant have, could have done to grant healing in this matter? He doesn't need that. Firstly, in terms of the parole process, he must be remorseful. He has not been remorseful. He only wrote a letter to his judges to say he's remorseful when he has not. And of course, you can't force the victims to, to accept uh, his, his, uh, his apology. Uh, but the point is, I, I was present when we went to, to, to the two cases that they're referring to uh, here. We never spoke to him. We engaged with the parole, parole board. We never in, engaged with him. That's the reality. And the second one, which was also referred to here, was a matter when uh, Ausdin Po was uh, in, uh, on, on holiday in Cuba. And just after she left, after our celebration, uh, or commemoration of Chris and his life, on the 10th of April, then they wrote a letter and made it public when she, has, she, she was not there to even receive the letter. So obviously they abused the court process and they are granted uh, injustice uh, through this particular process. And even that didn't even hold judge. When you trace her uh, own involvement, she was a prosecutor on, uh, when this matter happened in the apartheid system. Today she can uh, do out justice, which has now been uh, 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 repeated here by, 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 by the Constitutional Court. The Constitutional Court is a court of democracy. It's a court of the new dispensation. It cannot be upholding uh, apartheid justice in the new dispensation just to prove its impartiality. Otherwise, then you will have a, a justice that is disconnected with the, the, with the masses of the people. And this was what, what, what we felt today. We feel attacked by this ruling. Lastly, what happens in 10 days' time? Well, of course, um, we would have to mobilize. I, I guess uh, the minister would have no choice. The constitutional democracy, you would have to uphold the, uh, 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 this ruling. The biggest issue that South Africans should consider and all jurisprudences, including uh, legal uh, entities in universities, um, is to develop a dispensation in which the constitutional court can make errors. Because they are becoming more and more. And this is unacceptable. And I mean, uh, uh, for instance, um, uh, if a, a court judgment creates instability in society, um, it shows that uh, that court is imposing something, and that can, cannot be accepted uh, by the majority of the people.